everyone, Corey Takei here for the Popcorn Network. I am in Los Angeles, California at the premiere of the Smosh movie. I've got some fun interviews, so come check it out. Katie, yeah. what brings you here at the Smosh movie? I'm in the Smosh movie. I play Anthony and Ian's hairstylist. I also play the voice of Deary, so you'll be hearing me throughout the entire film. I love your outfit. Thank you. Thank yeah, you yeah, yeah. Who, uh, who's the designer? I'm sure that this is from some Goodwill store. Uh, yes, I mean, this is a lender, so it's a vintage Vintage, I don't know, but can you imagine sewing all of these sequins on? I cannot. I hope it's by hand, because I'll feel so much more fancy. <laughs> so where do you think uh, the YouTube world is going moving forward? I think YouTube is where it's at. I think what people are doing is very exciting to get a little lofty. It's kind of democratized entertainment in a way that anyone can put up their work online now. You don't have to go through a studio, you don't have to get a bunch of money, you can just have your camera, just like all, any of these cameras, shoot anywhere and the audience will find you. Do you think there's any secret to being successful as a YouTube star? I like to say just keep producing content. That's the real secret because you'll only get better every time you practice. Yeah. And how about dealing with trolls or mean people that <laughs> comment? Uh, ignore the trolls. It's not, I know it's really hard to because when somebody like is constantly making comments about your boobs or your weight or that's not funny, it's hard to ignore but you really have to ignore it because why let them waste a perfectly good video that you work so hard on. It's just like extensive bullying, you know? Yeah, or it's just like bored 13 year olds who are just rebelling against their, in their hormones. <laughs> True that, true that. Not that I have anything against. I was a teenager once too. I was really mean when I was a teenager. So basically it's just like putting a bunch of little me's, like sweet revenge, back on myself. Oh God. So did you ever expect to have the success you have with uh, YouTube? I never really knew where it was going. I, I started doing documentaries in 2005 when YouTube was just becoming a thing. So when we put our trailer up on YouTube, it was it got 100,000 hits and that was a bazillion at that time, you know? So to see where yeah, it yeah, so to see where it's at now, it's kind of remarkable that people can make money doing what they love. Congratulations and thank you for speaking with us. Thank you. Thank you.